I'm not that photogenic, bro. At all. I'm being this bit. <laughs> Just throwing punches. That's it. That's all I got. favorite one bro cuz it'd be a wild card of dudes you know one of them might be crazy one of them might be hella mean so yeah we gonna do Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise guys. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> You guys all sounded the same. <laughs> so we're going to be bringing out some single like they women one by either. one. When she comes around this corner, if she's your type, you so. know, outfit, hair, makeup, everything looks good and you're feeling it, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything you're not a fan of, whatever it may be, your preference, if you're not liking it, go ahead and pop that balloon. And I'll go over to a few of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Okay, all right. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Sandra. Sandra, how old are you? 39. I okay. had to think about that, sorry. <laughs> no, no, actually, I'm 38. I'll be 39 in November. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay, the nerves. Yes. <laughs> all right, and now, Sandra, what do you do? I am a phlebotomist. Um, I recently um, got into a lead position, but what I've been doing that? phlebotomy I'm for 11 years. Wow. Um, and I don't mean to say, um, but I've been doing phlebotomy for 11 years, but I also travel as an independent contractor as well. Very nice. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are yeah. some things I could do for fun? For fun, I like to do... Mm, you could hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry. So for fun, I like to do anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay. So recently I tried kayaking on my, my own. Mm -hmm. So that was different for me. So like anything that takes me out of my comfort zone. Okay, very yeah. cool. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Uh, some things that I do look for in a man is um, a man that's going to prioritize me in the relationship, a man that's going to allow me to rest in my femininity, a man that bro they all be saying the same thing bro a man that's gonna prioritize you that just means that the guys that they get with don't care about them you know what i'm saying like when, when you hear that that usually means oh you know I'm, I'm usually not prioritized or i need a lot of attention like, it should come naturally. You shouldn't have to say, oh, yeah, I need somebody that's going to prioritize me. Obviously, if they care about you, they're going to prioritize you. It's just not. Doesn't, um, oh, no, no, excuse me. Oh, I'm speaking of everything that I do want. So, yeah, a man that prioritizes me in the relationship, a man that allows me to rest in my femininity, a guy that's just going to shower me with gifts and love <laughs> and just everything great okay nice yeah. now what are some deal breakers some deal breakers are i would have to say a guy that does not prioritize me um yeah. a guy that a lot of work, has bro. a wandering eye mm. uh oh yeah oh yeah she a lot of and work. what else uh i mean that's good enough yeah okay <laughs> all right so we did get a couple yeah. of pops let's he put on his shades because she said wandering eye, all right let's start right here with your name and age uh hubert and i'm 37. and hubert what do you do i'm a software yeah, i'm in software sure. sales okay. yep Very cool. and why did you end up popping your balloon um well one i have a child my son is my first priority uh so when someone says they want me to prioritize them that's a red flag for me but also uh Gifts isn't my love language to give. Like, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't believe in showering people with gifts. I feel like that's earned. Um, and if you're my partner and, I've, and I feel, you know, motivated to do so, I will do so. But, like, if that's what you're coming in, like, I want to be showered with gifts, wrong guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yep. Got it. Now, um, is he someone that's your type? Uh, he could be. He could be. But I truly believe if I was your woman, you would want to shower with me with gifts. Possibly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next pop sure. balloon. All Love right. If we can start with your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 38. And Johnny, what do you do? I am a traffic control man. I'm an artist, I'm a photographer. I do a whole lot of stuff. Okay, cool. <laughs> and so why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, like, I know my priorities. I mean, my priorities is my kids. I'm a single father, so I got to, I mean, you feel me? Okay. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, put the kids first. Yeah, that yes. priority right. thing. But have you ever heard the here. saying, if you take care of yourself first, then you could take care of everyone else? That so you, you wouldn't prioritize your, yourself first, then your I do. woman? Then my your kids, kids is gonna be your priority, period. Bingo. Right. On well, top so of it's not it shouldn't be a competition between your children and you. You feisty. No, I'm not fighting like it. I'm it. just saying. I like it. Continue. <laughs> no, I was done. Finish. <laughs> All right. So now is he someone that's your type? No. Okay. And why not? I just no. I I I can't mm. really say. I it might be the tattoo on the face. Okay. That's giving Indeed. me like street it's vibes. Mm. Oh, okay. like I'm just saying. It I mean, everybody me, like, got a pass vibes. though. Like, <clears throat> but right, I'm, right. I'm very positive. I'm an optimistic person. Okay. But I understand. Sure. Cool. Thank you. Let's head on back. And we did get a pop back here. If we can start off with your name and age. Uh, my name is La 40. Okay. And what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur, investor, you know. Uh, yeah, pretty much. All right. And <laughs> <laughs> so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just because she said, started off with like, shower you with gifts and things. And like you said, that's that's earned. I'm not a selfish person. I do give people gifts, but you couldn't, shouldn't come expecting it at first, you know. And I also have two children. That's going to be like the number one priority until, you know, they're of age. Yeah. <laughs> so now, is he someone that's your type? Um, he's physically fit, but again, the tattoos. I mean, I got a tattoo, but I only have one. I'm not really attracted to the guys with a lot of tattoos. Okay. All right. Cool. And then we did get a few more pops. Let's start here with your name and age. Okay. My name is Micah, mm -hmm. and I'm th uh, 42. Okay. 42. And Micah, what do you do? Uh, I'm a networking engineer in the cybersecurity field. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, I ended up popping because just uh, the energy, I don't think I was kind of gravitating to it. Okay. So I just decided to pop. Okay. Yeah. I see, I see. Cool. So is Micah someone that you would go for? No. Okay, why not? Uh, I guess this height. Okay. Just a little but I've dated short guys before, but I, I just don't feel attraction. He taller than her. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's going over here. Let's start That's with your name and tough. age. My name is Brian, 38. Okay. And Brian, what do you do? I do, I'm an IT. I do IT. Um, I'm also a personal trainer. Very cool. Yeah. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, she seemed a little managed to me, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I get that little managed vibe from her. Um, then I got tattoos too, so that's another thing. But I mean, I just get that little managed vibe, I mean, I'm cool, you, you know, I'm, you know, I, I like that. You know, she's she pretty, you know, but it's a little mannish. Mannish. Do you know mannish? what he means by that? Can, can you elaborate? I can elaborate. Basically, she, I don't know if it'll last, but. basically she likes to <laughs> take control. I could tell she likes to take it. control. And I'm the guy that likes to take control, of, you know, in my relationship. Okay. You know, I lead, so, no you know, and that's just what it is. Okay, okay. Now, is he someone that's your type? Uh, no. <laughs> You had to think about that for a bit. What makes him not your type? Uh, the fact that what he said. Okay. Because um, I, I don't think I like to take control. I like for my man to be in control. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Dig it another pop down okay. here. Let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad. I'm 38. And Chad, what do you do? I own a mobile pet care business. Okay. All right. And why did you end up popping your balloon? The first thing I heard was being showered with gifts. The second thing was when you said, oh boy, down the way, it was too short and we're eye to eye. I figured I'm in the same boat as him, so 
Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So now is he someone that's your type? Like <laughs> just hey, he's being hopeful. <laughs> he's like <laughs> Um no. Mm -mm. Okay. And why not? Why not for him? Just no attraction. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. All right. Well, let's go over to our last unpopped balloon. Let's start with your name and age. I'm Danny, 38. And Danny, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, very cool. So you do have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I mean, she's very beautiful. I was trying to figure out a little more about her. You know, I'm not scared of none of them standards or nothing like that. But, I mean... It's just really on her, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just trying to figure out what she really about because, you know, everybody want to be shy with gifts. Everybody want, you know, to show, be shown that they are cared for. That's why I took that ass. But what are you going to do in return, mm. you know, or to earn that? Not quid pro quo. What am I going to do in return? Mm. I don't know if I like that. You ain't gotta like it. I'm just saying, I don't like showering folks with gifts. That's what without, that answer meant. You don't like to shower your lady with gifts? Look, it's, it's about my little language is like but reassurance. But everybody is zeroing in on me saying showering gifts. Well, that's the first I thing you said. I also mentioned sweetheart. resting in my femininity as well. Well, let me tell you something. So the reason why they the priority. reason why they said that is because you didn't provide something like, like what you do for a man for because that's easy to say any woman can come out here and say yo give me some gifts and i can mm -hmm. bust out the bank card and be like wow you know what i'm saying but like what makes you like worthy to receive that other than you just being fine well if and when you become my man you would know and yeah okay. i would be your woman and that's in every sense yeah, all right so yeah like, anybody's going to buy a car before checking it out, test driving it. You know what I'm saying? Before checking out the specs. You don't know nothing about this car, and you're going to buy it for $100,000, but you don't know nothing about the car. That's what they look like. Mm-mm-mm. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell does that mean? Like, <laughs> like, like, like what does being my woman mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Need, that means giving you support, giving you, you know, nurturing you when you need, you know, when you need to, um, just loving you with a pure heart. How old are you again? Um, 38. <laughs> okay, we're the same age. Oh, All right, where you stay? I live in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, but I'm from Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Yeah. How right. about you? I'm from Georgia. Georgia, okay. You know, okay. Atlanta. Okay. Are what you thinking it? of a question or what are you doing? You just stare at I'm asking you something. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Like, so throughout the relationships, you're 38, you've been in multiple relationships, right? So, what's something that you learned in your past relationships that you can put into your future relationship to make it last longer? Something I've learned Great from my past relationships. Uh, you know, I as would you have, as a person, you know as, what I'm saying? They help you grow as a person and say, okay, I'm going to take this say, into my next relationship. And it's going to last longer. Pop, bro. Why she taking so long? I would have to say it would have to be patience. I've had to work, you know, on my patience over the years. Um, and I've learned to take my time. Okay. Are we good? The time has come. Pop. She fine. She just seemed like a lot, though. It was like... What's a lot? <laughs> what is a lot? It just seemed lot? like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Well, can I ask him a question? Yeah, ask me something. All right. So on the scale of one to ten, and you can't use seven, um, <laughs> how, important, how important is it to you that your next relationship ends in marriage? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Let me be honest with you. I don't want to even get into a relationship unless it can, unless I see it. I'm, all right. Well, you're here for love, so. Well, my be honest with you, my grandmother just passed, right? I'm sorry. So, so I appreciate it. But <laughs> I seen my granddaddy stay by her side, or she was by his side till she could no longer be there. So if I can't envision you being old next to me, I'm not even really going to give you no energy. Well, that's to be insane. honest with you, I can give you all the energy of the world, or I could just forget you exist. Mm. That's you know what hard. I'm saying? So... Right. We, we got to make a choice. Are you popping or are we walking up there and making a match? 
What you want to do? Let's go. Oh, <laughs> come on. So. Were you so All right, <laughs> come on. If you hesitant. No, I'm not hesitant. She's I'm not. Trying to figure out what's it like because. Not, Let's walk up here. Okay. Come on, come on, come oh, on, come on. We're going to walk back. <laughs> you don't have to. Okay. Oh, you dropped the balloon. <laughs> I'll stand, stand over here. Okay. All right. This just seems saying? like an investment. It, a relationship is an investment. You know I'm saying it's going to be a mutual fund. <laughs> yeah. That's so what you're, a relationship you're, is. You're, hmm. You'll come to me, and I got to come to you. You with long distance and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm open to long distance. I'm clingy. Are you? Yeah, I'm talking about I wrap around you like a spider web. <laughs> I'm done. I cannot <laughs> take them serious. <laughs> Any final questions? Are you going to pop or are you are you going to stay with her? <sighs> oh. All right. You can head on back. <laughs> Sweating and everything. Right. <laughs> all right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, unfortunately. Yes, yes. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's Absolutely. go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this mic. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, he, he is smart. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. You are like a liability. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Crystal, how old are you? I'm 39. And what do you do? I'm a senior level uh, medical coordinator. Very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, for fun, I like to cook. Um, I love um, learning new recipes. I'm getting into outdoor cooking nice. and grilling. Um, I love spending time with family. Um, I love traveling and I love wine tasting. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, in a man, I just need someone that's loyal, mm. um, good with communication, um, have a relationship with God, um, as well as big on family as well. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breaker is a man that don't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I would say a man that's not good with communication, um, a man that smokes cigarettes, mm. and a man that has cats. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we did get a few pops. Let's okay. go on over there see why they ended up popping. Let's start here with your name and age. Uh, Hubert. Uh, 37. Okay. And Hubert, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially coming around the corner, not physically attracted, um, so I don't want to like waste her time or mine, so, okay. yeah. Got it, got it. Now, is Hubert someone that's your type? Yes, very well-dressed and fit, look like he's in fitness, so yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And then we did get one down over here. All right, let's start with your name and age. Name's Chad, I'm 38. And Chad, why did you end up popping your balloon? I have a fat cat at my house, so Aww. you're, yeah. <laughs> not okay. the cat. Yeah, so I know it's not going to work for you. Okay, not a problem. Okay, got it. Now, before she said that, you did have your balloon unpopped. Why so? I just wanted to hear a little more about her. She has a beautiful smile. I just wanted to see what the deal was, but she canceled me, so. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> or my cat, I should say. <laughs> now, is he someone that's your type? I know the cat, but yeah. apart from that... <laughs> Yes, very well put together, clean cut, seemed like he really into self-care. I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. All right, let's head on back right here. We did get a pop. Let's get your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Okay. And Johnny, why did you pop your balloon? I mean, I'm into like more taller female. Okay. I mean, she's gorgeous and she looked like she got a good spirit and whatnot. And yeah, I hope she found what she's looking for. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> now, is Johnny someone that's your type? NBA baby. Um, I mean, I love his personality. He seemed very charming, so yeah. Okay. Indeed. Thank you. And we got another one right here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Brian from DC. I'm 38. Okay. And Brian, why did you pop your balloon? Just not really my type, you know what I mean? Physically, um, you know, I'm on her teeth. She got a little um, lipstick on. I peep that, and then I actually get to walk on the way, and I see a little pedicure could be a little better on the bottom of her feet. But other than that, um, that's just it, not my type. Okay, all right. Now, is uh, Brian someone that's your type? Oh, yeah, most definitely. He's um, well put together as well. Um, Seems like he's very ambitious know and know what he's looking for. So, thank stuff. you. You're welcome. Thank you. 
Oh, is there and a right here, bed? let's start with your name and age. My name is Micah, and I'm 42. See? Micah, why did you pop your balloon? I popped my balloon just just because of the just the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, but you look really nice though. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Now is Micah someone that's your type? Oh my God, they all are nice. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, I would say he's very well put together. Mm -hmm. You guys really put it together tonight, and um, self-care is a plus. So, yeah, I like the trim. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then one more down over here, your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. Um, you have a beautiful smile. Thank you. But I don't think the aura, like, did it for me. Like, I didn't bring it in. And also, you said a man of God. I'm not an atheist or nothing, but... Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not in church every Sunday or, you know, so that's pretty much it. I want to disappoint you on Sunday. <laughs> well, <laughs> when it comes to that, I said a man that has God involved in his life. Not saying you have to go to church every Sunday, but I, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And we did give one more down over oh. here. He hung on to the last minute. <laughs> All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Danny, I'm 38. It's just, uh, she's very beautiful, very beautiful, very well put together, very nice smile. It's just the distance. Where you say you was from? I'm in Houston. Yeah, I'm not about to travel all the way out like that. Where are you? <laughs> Atlanta. Oh, okay. I love Atlanta. I go there often, but okay. You know, be cool. All yeah. Right. So now, is he someone that's your type? Yes. Cool, smooth daddy. <laughs> I love um, the boots and the belt. Seems like he can get on the grill with me, but okay. All right, let's head on back. <laughs> all right, so that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, wow. but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Wait thank you. you. Thank you. Boy. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Johiko Rodriguez. Johiko? Yes. Okay, and how old are you? I am 39 years old. And what do you do? I am a dedicated and passionate social worker, and I also have several businesses. I also um, own an event planning and hosting business, nice. and I also do an intimate fitness courses. Okay. I'll be you, <laughs> you are face. busy. Yes. <laughs> now, oh, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, well, I try to travel at least once or twice a month, if not every other month. I just came from Aruba last weekend. I'm here this weekend. Who knows where I'm going to be next weekend? Okay. Um, I'm a social, I, I'm a social butterfly, so I like to be in social settings. So anything that involves karaoke, happy hour, day parties, okay. things of that nature. We work hard, so you know we got to play, play hard. hard. Uh huh. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, uh, first, it's compatibility. Mm -hmm. um, exterior definitely is friend. important. I love a guy that looks good, mm -hmm. but the interior matters more, like your character and you know, like who you are as a person. Yeah. Um, um, I love someone that's fun and energetic and social like me. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers. I don't do addiction. So if you're addicted to porn, only fans, gambling, I do none of that. Um, lying, um, someone who's judgmental. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So we did get a pop. Let's go on over there. See why they ended up popping. Yeah, I'm addicted to lying. All right, baby. if we can have your name and age. I'm Brian, 38, from D.C. Brian? How you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good, good. Um, All right, Brian, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, she, physically, she's not my type. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh. Physically, not my type. Okay, got that's it, got okay. It. Now, is uh, Brian someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. And why not? Um, I'm more into someone that just dresses a little bit more, I mean, I'm, I, I want someone that dresses diverse, um, but just someone that, for this occasion, I think you should come with your best impression, so, um, yeah, that's it. But you're, you're a very good looking guy, I'm not gonna lie. Nice height, I like the size of the jeans, you look good. Appreciate you. No problem. Let's go to our next pop balloon here, if we can have your name and age. I'm Johnny, I'm 58. Okay. And Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm just into a more like taller girl okay. and whatnot, but you're gorgeous. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. All right. Now, is Johnny your type? 
Or are you really trying um, to raise an athlete? I would kid? say no. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Might be honest, um, just the wardrobe. Mm-hmm. Just looking at the exterior. I haven't heard anything from you yet, so mm-hmm. you know I can't say too much. But just from looking on the Might outside, I just feel again, you know, being that this is a dating show, mm-hmm. um, you know, you got to come with your best. Indeed, I yeah. understand. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. <laughs> and we did get one pop back here. Your name and age, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, my name is Mike. I'm 42. And uh, the reason, hey Mike. how you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Doing good, thanks. Okay. So the reason I popped was just the the attraction wasn't there for me. Okay. Physical attraction wasn't there. Okay, was there something specific? Uh, really not specific, just not the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got okay. it, got it. Now, is Mike someone that's your type? Yeah, actually, Mike would be someone that's my type. Um, very nice looking. I love someone that's super well-groomed. The beard is looking on point, hair is on point. Yeah, the aesthetics, I'm here for it. I appreciate that. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. And You're then welcome. we did get one down here. Let's head on over here. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danny. Hey, 38. Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Chohiko. Chohiko. Yes. Well, I'm big on, bro, she you know, having a type. friendly, bro. You know, and then she described her type pretty much to the T, and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? I so you got to dash about me. Wow. And if you ain't willing to do that because I ain't your type, then it's all good. Well, who told you you weren't my type? You did with your discretion. Okay. It's all good. All right. So now is he your type? Yeah, he is somebody that would be my type. Okay. Yeah, very well dressed. You came with the collared shirt on. I Bro. love me some Chelsea boots. You came dressed for the occasion. You look good. Got a clean cut. I'm not really with the shades at night, you know, but I can see through them. So as long as I can see your eyes and you don't have hater blockers on, it's all good. So I actually would. Yeah, he's my type. Okay. Let's head on back. <laughs> you should take that balloon back then. What's up? Some dark Uh-oh. Shade. I'm saying. <laughs> don't listen to that, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so we do have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the remaining guys a question just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Okay, so I guess I would first ask you guys, um, where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay, let's start here with your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name is La, I'm 40. Um, What's I'm your name, based... I'm sorry. Excuse me? Your name? La. La? Okay. Yeah, La La. Nice to meet you. Um, pretty much I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor, uh, I'm into fitness at uh, a uh, university, Body State University, and also a restaurant, Supreme Empanada, in New York City. A nickname, Lala. I it was probably will some. I ain't gonna lie. A nickname, Lala. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age, and the answer to her question. Uh, Hubert. My age is 37. Uh, I'm in software sales and I have a podcast. Okay, nice to meet you, Hubert. Likewise. Hubert, okay. probably not. We have one more down over here. <laughs> All right, your name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Chad. I'm 38 and I own a mobile pet care business. Oh, cute. Nice to meet you, Chad. <laughs> nice to meet you, Black too. Black man named Chad, okay. like high school music. Head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. So mm. I'm going to go ahead and hand you a pig. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Pop a balloon. Yeah, so out of these three guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. I couldn't ask a question first. No, next round. <laughs> at least two people only. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Is killing me, bro. Wow. That's it's, trouble. It's at the top. Oh, party at the bottom. <laughs> Crazy. Mm. Okay. Look. Well, he popped his. He popped. Let's come Let's on go. over here. <laughs> so why did we end up popping Hubert? Um, the hesitation. Like I need my woman to be like know what she wants and make the decision. Also, um, there are a few things aesthetically that I don't like. Okay. Um, I'm not really big on like weave, and if I can see a braid, uh, and then like, like the I can see the bump in the back. Um. The braids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the tooth. Her tooth? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. 
All right. Well, is Hubert someone that's your type? I know you had a little hesitation. Yeah, no. I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, just, again, based on the exterior, because I haven't heard anything from him yet. Um, The dress code, yes. Uh, The demeanor on the facials, it's just giving I don't want to be here. That's Uh, what I said earlier. Aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably, yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'll go ahead and have you ask the two guys a question that are left. Um, Speaking of aesthetics, how are you guys when it comes to, like, your women and um, consistency? I know some guys don't like a woman that changes a lot. You know, they want her to stay in shape. If she gains weight, they lose interest. Because personally, I'm someone that I, when it comes to my hair, I change it a (laughs) lot. I have no braids, to be honest. I actually have a shortcut under here, but my hair is down my back. Um, But I've done different type of things with my hair. I am always changing. So how comfortable are you with the consistency of, like, how your women changes her hair or, you know, her gaining weight, losing weight? Um, As far as your hair, that's your hair. Hair don't make you, so it don't matter to me. Okay. Um, Gaining weight and stuff, I'm going to try to look good for you, so you got to always look good for me. You know, so I wouldn't want you there to gain you like 40, 30 pounds. I'm going to say, baby, let's go get in the gym. Let's go get it together. You know what I'm saying? But if you reluctant, then I might be out of there. I ain't going to lie. Okay. All right. Let's go down over there. On a diet. I'm going to go ahead and answer Start. a question. Uh, that would be no problem for me. I think that uh, – I just drew, drew a blank right now. Uh, <laughs> that, okay. that would be no problem for me. I'd actually – would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking a different way. Uh, as far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. <laughs> and the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even you know, gaining weight. I, I, I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great. but um, Well, I'm asking because, you know, I, ha- I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't, I, that, you want to take it off? Don't yeah. do that. Don't yeah. you? I mean, oh my God. I mean, no, no. why they do I mean, that, bro? I? See, y'all was trying to so, keep a straight face, but the, <laughs> you still look good. He said, "Oh my God!" Still look good. Yeah. So should I keep it off? Why or? they do that? Okay. Oh, no. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, earring just fell. lost the earring. Um, but yeah, so that's why I asked because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. I have super long hair. I do all types of things. And typically I do natural, but you know, I came on the show today. So I was like, all right, let me try to do a little something, but this is, this is me. So I just want to make sure you're okay with me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. (laughs) Let's head on back. I, Let's sorry, I had to back. do it. No, you look good. You look yeah, good. I did it for you. <laughs> you talking about I had braids. I'm like, braids? What braids? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so our two remaining guys. Any questions for our beautiful lady here? You got kids. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Here we go. You got a question over here? Let's go over here. Yeah. You have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex-husband. We do 50-50, so... Whoever my partner is, he honestly doesn't, the, a week, my kids are gone, <laughs> a week they come back with me. So um, they have a very active father. So that wouldn't be a concern if that is a concern, because okay. that tends to be a concern at times. Do you want more kids? <laughs> I'm open to more kids, yeah. Yeah, I snap back. <laughs> okay. I mean, we end up popping? I, I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, I'm open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, I do <laughs> so I'm not. not. <laughs> but that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more, neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's mm. not a. It's not a need for me. Mm. I already have three. But for example, yeah. I'm open to it. To if the, my partner either. wants it. Oh, I don't think he wants to see your kids either. You know, he might be a biweekly boyfriend. Okay. I'm not open though, <laughs> and that's fine. And that's what I'm and telling you. I got you. two kids. Yeah, that's you know cool. That's cool with Just me. Fuck them kids after that. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I don't know about f them kids, <laughs> but I'm totally open. If I don't need to have any more, understandable. But I'm open to it if my partner is. But I, I respect it. Okay. okay. Any questions down over here? Let's head on over here. Any questions? Where do you live? I live in Florida, Fort Lauderdale to be exact. Where do you live? Vegas. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't be willing to do long distance temporarily? Too far. Well, I mean, because, listen, I'm I'll, grounded. I'll move where for I'm love. At. I'm just saying, I'll move for love. I, the dating pool, there's fecal matter in it right now. <laughs> 
so I can't be so picky anymore. I used to be super picky. I, he can't be you bald. He can't be move. this. I'm, I'm, there yeah, I've is. had long distance Give me the balloon back. relationship. Okay, there it is. let's get that balloon back. <laughs> and I'm serious. So she's settling, bro. That's what she's saying. I'm looking at you. Yeah. She started settling in her settle time. I could tell. I'm like, ain't no way. And I got three kids All as these well. women just like, oh, oh yeah. Brady Bunch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue with that. I prefer whiteies. men with kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me walk you on up. Come on up here. Let's head. Uh, you could if you want. <laughs> uh, that was an accident. We know that was an accident. He tried to catch it. <laughs> Get some water in a little bit. All right. So I have a final question. If there's no other questions between the two of you. What's the question? All right, no so question. then, is it a yes for you, for her? It's a yes. Uh, is it a yes for you, for him? It's a yes. We got a man. I'll take this Aww. mic, and you guys can go on up. Oh, give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Let's go. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Valicia. Valicia? Yes. How old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and broker yeah. in the Arizona area and D.C. as well. Okay, cool. I don't uh, know what why, are some things but like real estate fun? agent. Um, I'm really That's chill. Fast. I like speakeasies. I like staying at home and cuddling sometimes. <laughs> I like um, I know adventuring. I try anything at least once. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who is also adventurous, someone who's looking for a serious relationship with the goal of marriage. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking for someone who is, I guess, multidimensional. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, I know this is cliche, but I, I would say cigarette smoking. Um, uh, I won't say smoking in general, but it depends. Um, I don't mind if a man has kids, but I would like to know how old, if under they two do. for me might be a discussion to be had okay <laughs> um outside of that i would say the other thing is playing video games on a daily basis and it's not for your hobby i mean it's not for your profession mm. a hobby is a yeah little problem okay <laughs> yeah all right so we haven't got any pop balloons thank you so i am gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you so let me hand you a pick uh oh okay let me have you hold that and i, I am going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing, whoever doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop two balloons. And no questions? No questions this round. I'm right. I know, it's tough. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. No, I don't, I'm popping I'm just because she said I can't Okay, play and then one games. more. Even though I don't play him. <laughs> it's just like. Oh my God. It's dang. The red okay, flag let's is start like, right over here. You know, okay. Uh, your name and age? Hubert, 37. Okay, and Hubert, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, I was trying to give her a little bit of time to warm me up. Okay. She didn't say anything too bad. Um, I did notice some things that I don't like, but mm -hmm. you know, I was just trying to give her some grace. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type? You like you would usually go for? Um, she cool. <laughs> she cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so why did we end up popping his balloon? Well, cause it's a tough choice up here. Mm -hmm. Um, but I would, I, Based off of the initial vibe in the eye contact, okay. I was just getting from other areas. I've had to make a decision. Okay. Sounds good. And then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. My name is Micah. I'm 42. And Micah, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I like the things she was saying. It was kind of interesting, the things you were saying. Uh, and you seem you got like good energy. You seem like you have good energy. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right. Now, why did we end up popping his? Um, oh my God, um, initial attraction. I would just say it, it's nothing that I could pinpoint. I just didn't feel the initial attraction there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Cool. Respect. Thank yeah. you. All right. So now you can go ahead and ask a question. All right. <laughs> so I kind of just want to know like a little bit about what some of you guys like to do for fun. Okay, cool. Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? Uh, my name is La. I'm 40. I like to travel. I pretty much travel. Um, I like doing comedy shows and you know, um, adventurous stuff, too. You know, I'm an adrenaline junkie. You know, I got motorcycles and jet skis and stuff like that. Okay. That's pretty much. Awesome. All right. 
Let's head down over here. Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? My name Brian, 38 from D.C. Um, what I like to do for fun um, is pretty much typically travel. Um, I like to be by the water. Um, honestly, I adventure, so spontaneously do anything that my woman like to do. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Over here, your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. Um, they, I don't have fun. <laughs> it's always work with me. But at the same time, I'm an adventurous person. I'm a personality. I, I love, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain, okay. but I'm always at work. I'm a single father, so it's like, yeah. It's all work, no play. Yeah. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm 38. I'm a little bit of a brainiac. I like to play chess. Um, I got a podcast where I read from Prosperity Bible. Um, I recently retired from basketball. I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> um, it's okay. We all have then, dreams. Um, you know, like sports, uh, Stone Mountain, running up the mountain and stuff like that. I got a couple of kids, so like whatever they like to do, I'm into. I'm real supportive with that. So, you know, I like to just create fun out of whatever. Okay. You know, talk shit a little bit. <laughs> I like that. Okay. All right. Let's head on right. back. Okay. So, based off of everything you've heard, what you've seen, whatever you it is, I'm going to have you pop have one. one balloon. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. So, why did we end up popping his? Um, for me, it was just a preference on the face tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just not. Indeed. Yeah, understand. that's it. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So, Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, she's gorgeous. Thank she you. looks like she has a beautiful soul and whatnot. But thank you. I understand. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's ask the remaining guys another question. Okay. So, if money were no option, where would you live, and where do you live now? Okay, start over here. No option. Hmm. Actually, no, let's give him time. He's still thinking. Let's go. What is that question? <laughs> let's start down here. All right, answer to your question. You know, I lived a lot of places. I like, I like Atlanta. Okay. Um, I like the network. Um, to be honest with you, I live in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so you want to stay? You don't? You want to go nowhere. <laughs> All right, we be honest. You know, be honest, I probably would stay like somewhere that's by the water, but don't get all the BS that water bring, like tsunamis and all that stuff. Like, okay. Okay. I like Atlanta because the weather is perfect. You know, it's, it's it's cold for like a short period of time, and then everything else is straight. And I don't like drama. Perfect, I don't like bro. weather. I don't like. I just like to be chill, cool. Gotcha. It's like. So that's why I choose Georgia. It's, okay. it's bipolar over tornadoes here. and stuff. But it doesn't like get it. too crazy. Got family there. <laughs> okay, all right on over here. All right, so you, your question mm -hmm. was, um, where would I live? Or what was your question? Um, if money were no option, where would you live and where do you currently live? Well, I currently, I'm currently residing in the DMV area outside of D.C., Maryland okay. area. Um, but uh, if money, you're basically saying if money was an option, well, honestly, I would like to live somewhere where it's nice and hot, like maybe Florida somewhere like that somewhere where Arizona Arizona cool I actually like it out here it's, it's pretty <laughs> chill you know a little hot but it's not as humid as east coast um yeah. but yeah somewhere where it's water beach at where I can you know like to be by the water so okay yeah. okay all right cool all right okay you had some time what's your answer um if money wasn't an option definitely like a Bali or somewhere somewhere different like just a whole different country or something and okay. i'm currently residing in new york, new york. Okay. yeah yeah i would go all right. vegas okay. all right it LA. is time to pop oh yes we're gonna pop out of these three guys whose balloon are we popping one just one mm -hmm. okay all right i'm sorry we'll okay why did we pop his balloon and then pop i have balloon. to i like <laughs> It's not an easy choice up here, but um, he seemed like he wasn't really sure mm. on his answer. And yeah, you looked a little confused, um, but it's okay. I don't want to stay in Georgia though. Like that's just not 
my vibe. So that's so really you said, well, you want to go there. No, I want to hear from you. This is <laughs> about us. you want, babe? This is togetherness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Danny, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, <laughs> She got like a natural goddess type vibe. Um, She seemed like she's caring and um really you bro hey dives over deep there. into a relationship and falls head <laughs> over heels and make whatever bro hey like tries to make there. it work you know what i'm saying and so why he hate is so bad her out and she's very attractive <gasps> why do he look you know, at her so like that she seems like she's easy going cool to kick it with so yeah uh, he did a lot of thank you for that appreciate it <laughs> thank you <laughs> All so right, you, you so we do you have two bro? guys left. Right. Guys, any questions for our lady here? You have one? Okay, we'll start here, then we'll go over there. I'm assuming you don't have any kids, right? I don't. Do you want to be a mother? I do. Hey, there you go. You're beautiful. Thank you. I would never try to waste your time. That's something everybody should experience if they want to. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to have like start over again i have two kids i don't want to start over again I understand yeah i definitely want someone who's still open to the idea even though i may not have kids i still want someone open to the idea <laughs> okay. okay yeah now prior to you know her saying she wants more kids you had your balloon unpopped why so she's beautiful she's um she has in, in real estate so she has like a money mind it's right up my alley i like that um yeah she has like a, a good demeanor about it and everything Thank you. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? I, I, I do think if he was outside, I would say hi. I hey. would, <laughs> I would entertain you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And we do have one balloon left unpopped, and he did have a question. Okay. What's your question? Um. So my question is, in the household, what is the as, as far as the roles? Okay. What is, I love that. What, what does it look like as far as the man role and the woman role? What does it look like in, in your household? All right, so I'm a little old school, and I'm glad you asked this because I was raised by my grandparents and also in a Christian upbringing. Okay. So I do value the man as the lead, okay. and I'm going to, with good reason, submit to my man. Ooh, okay. Um, Ooh, I and like I want to like make sure, of course, that it's someone that I pick that's right, that I can trust his leadership, but I definitely feel like that comes first. And if I do get married, my husband is also going to come before everything and everyone else, even if I do have kids. Some people take that wrong, but you know what I'm saying. Biblically, I have the order. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds like a good answer right there. Um. <laughs> All right. Let me bring you up. Come on up here. Let's, <laughs> let's come on up here. All right, y'all. Any final questions? I did. I wanted to know if you have children. Yes, I have two boys. How old are they? Five and 18. Okay. I like that. Yeah. And what do you look for in a woman? Well, honestly, I look for a woman that's like you just described yourself, submissive. Let the man lead. Know what they want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Respect. I'm big on respect. Yeah. Uh, you know, a woman that, you know, that knows what she wants. And um, that's pretty much it, you know. Okay. I like that answer. I'm big on respect. That's it. Okay. Okay, well then, with this being said, is it going to be a yes for you for her? I think it's going to be a yes, yes. Okay. I have one more question. Oh, oh my God. Okay, go no, ahead. No, it's, it's, it's not, not a deal breaker. I just wanted to know what part of the DMV, because I live in the DMV too. Well, I, I'm, I grew up in Southwest D.C. Okay. So, like I said, I'm in the area. I'm like uh, outside of Maryland right now. So. Okay, I'm in Silver Spring. Okay. Oh, that's close. So. Wow. He said yes. Now, is it going to be a yes for you for yes. him? We got a man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on off. Go ahead, it's one of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's give it up for them. <laughs> Bro, it's so angry. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Nah, you don't want to be here, bruh. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Kat. Kat, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? I'm an electrician. Oh, and okay. I also model. <laughs> now, what are some things you do for fun? Um, I like to I like to do everything. I like to go shoot pool, um, play spades, um, skating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's some, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, 
So I'm looking for someone who is genuinely trying to get to know me and court me and make me a part of their situation and not just, you know, keep me around as a placeholder. Mm. And... Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breaker. Um, bad hygiene. Okay. Someone who texts me what you're doing all day <laughs> with no, like, substance to the conversation. Mm. Um that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, no problem. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go on over there, see why they ended up popping. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Danny, I'm 38. Okay. And Danny, why did you end up popping your balloon? You know, she's a very beautiful woman, came out here with presents. Um, but we just being completely honest, I got a type, I like mine's, you know, a little bit thicker, you know, I'm like, no ass, it won't last type dude. So I just like, <laughs> just, you know, I'm just here to find my type. Okay, all no right. Problem. All right. All right, now is Danny someone that's your type? Um, He's okay. Well, I don't know him personally, but he's honest, so I like that. Okay, good. All right, cool. Thank you. And we did get a pop back here, if we can have your name and age. Yeah, my name is Micah and I'm 42. And Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason I popped was because just the overall, uh, just the energy I'm getting from her. It wasn't, I wasn't um, gravitating to it. Um, just some of the things she was talking about, it didn't seem to align with my life. So, okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it and now is uh, Micah someone that you're talking about? Um, I want to know that. Model. He's okay also. Um, he's not ugly, so that's cool. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you, Micah. <laughs> Let's head on back. I guess. All right. So okay. we do have uh, three guys remaining. I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and have you ask them a question just to help us narrow it down. Okay. What's you guys' toxic trait? Oh, okay. What's your toxic trait? Let's start you with know. your name and you age first. Know. What's good, bro? Uh, my name Yo, is Lai. Hear, I'm 40. I hear too much. One more um, time, bro. I don't know. I don't think I got no toxic traits. Uh, that's the toxic trait there right go. there. Might be. There <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I can't even tell you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing scares. Nothing scares the women away. Huh? Nothing scares the women away. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing about you where like, man, I should really work on this one piece of me. Like, um, I think in my younger, like, you know, when I was younger, yeah. Okay. You know, it has, you know, a few toxic traits, but I think, you well, know. Well, when's the last time you've been in, like, a relationship? Uh, I want to say about eight years. When was that? That's what do you mean? When was the last time you were in a relationship? Yeah, like, eight, eight years, years ago. ago. Like eight, eight years ago, everything was eight perfect. Years. Nah, it wasn't perfect, but, you know. <laughs> Spit it up. You not here for that, or you just called it straight? We got one of those names. Um. <laughs> nah, it wasn't... <laughs> yeah, he got caught up, bro. Eight years? Come on now. <laughs> you plead the fifth. Why do we... <laughs> you plead the fifth. Why well, we end up popping? Nah, I just, I don't know. She don't believe that I, I could just be too good to be true. That's it. I don't know. I don't know. Have like, you met men? <laughs> no, I don't talk to men. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta... Somebody made a point. They were like, yo, if she asking what's your toxic trait? She's trying to figure out your flaws already so that she could just complain about them. I was like, hmm. Okay, she trying to she trying to get your kryptonite. No cap. I'm just kidding. I have but, to talk um, to Trey too, so. Okay. Yeah, but she's a beautiful girl now. You know? okay. No problem. So let's go to our other two guys then. <laughs> if we can have your name and age and what's your toxic trait? Uh, Hubert, 37. Uh -huh. uh, I have three. Oh. Um, oh. I'm flirtatious. I can be moody. Uh, and I can sometimes be nonchalant about my attachment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're good. All right. We got one more. Name, age, and what's your toxic trait? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. My toxic trait is, I, I think, I, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I expect consistency. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the same energy I put in, I expect the same thing. And some people don't give you that. And... That's not toxic. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that part. 
That's it. So no one has a topic. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Great answer. Don't bet. Great answer. <laughs> All right. So since you asked that question, what's your toxic trait? Um, I like to be love bombed. I think it's romantic. I don't know why I'm like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Why did we end up popping our balloon, Hubert? That sounds crazy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to love bomb you? Oh, like, yeah. N understanding what love bombing is. Yes. No. <laughs> and I just told you I could be nonchalant. So they yeah. all want to be love bombed. Okay. Understood. Yeah. Got it. So before you ended up popping over the love bombing thing, is she someone that's your type? She's attractive. Yeah, she could be around. That's my talk. I don't know if she could be <laughs> permanently or not, but she could be around for sure. Okay. Yeah, just, you know how you are. Right. And now is he someone that's your type? Um, yeah, I guess he's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do <laughs> And we do have one balloon left unpopped. Mm -hmm. Any other questions between the two of you? No. Uh, oh, you have a question? No. You have any questions? How do you deal with your trauma? Um, I go to therapy. That part. We ain't got yeah. no more questions. I ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> How do you deal with your trauma? Therapist. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. It's the that best part. ever. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, any other questions between you two? No, I ain't got nothing else no. to say. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me bring you up. Smash Come on up. Therapist. Come on up. Uh, <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So, y'all, so you have no further questions. So, I'm going to go ahead and ask mine. So, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Hell yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you for him? No. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> John, okay, so <laughs> what is going on? Bro, they are too funny, bro. <laughs> God, <man>. bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Okay, why was it a no for you? Um, his teeth, he wore whole ass glasses inside, and it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, and I just couldn't hear half the things that he was saying. Mm, okay. All right. Well, that is all the balloons popped, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. I'll take this. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? I'm Michelle Brassel. Isho. Michelle Brazil. Oh, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> yes. And how old are you? I'm 37. And what do you do? I'm a tax professional and I also work for accounts payable for a very large fire and safety company. Very nice. Uh, what are some things I like to do for fun? Um, I was raised in ballroom dancing, so I love to dance. Um, I love to sing. I love to travel. I love parks. Um, it's probably easier if I say what I don't like. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, someone who's generous, and I don't mean by giving out their pocket, but just a very kind person. Mm -hmm. Someone who knows how to communicate without yelling. Mm -hmm. I don't like the yelling. I'm from the East Coast, so I'm used to aggressiveness. However, I like to stay in this energy. Um, someone who She's likes crazy. to dress. Someone um, who loves to read. Mm -hmm. um, like to cook with me. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Someone who yells oh. consistently. If that's how you communicate, that would be a deal breaker for me. Okay, got it. All right, so okay. we do have one pop balloon. <laughs> Let's head right. on over there. Sometimes okay, I like to name yell. And age like, and you know, it'd be like that. My be name like is that. Micah, and I'm 42. Uh, the reason I pop was just so if, if I'm looking for somebody, like want to be in a relationship with somebody, I'm looking to marry that person. So if I if I'm like uh, dating somebody, I want to I want to marry that person and, and call her my wife. And I just you are very pretty. Thank you. But I just couldn't see you as like being my wife. I hear you. OK. okay. Respect. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, is Micah someone that's your type? Um, yes. He's very handsome. Um, yeah, energy. I feel where he's saying on the energy. Okay. But um, as far as attraction goes, yes, he's very much my type. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and ask these guys a question to help us narrow it down. Well, I like to keep it fun. I know you gentlemen have been here for a little while. So mm -hmm. what do you gentlemen like to do for fun? Okay. Start over here with your I like to yell. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm live 40. Um, 
I like to travel. Like I do comedy. I like going to comedy shows and stuff. And yeah, you know, adventurous things. Yeah, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? Uh, Hubert, 37. Uh, it's probably easier to ask me what I don't like to do. Um, <laughs> but love to go to the movies, love live music, going to college football games, traveling, eating good food. Awesome. All the good things. Pleasure. Yep. All right. Your name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Johnny. I'm 38. I like going. I like nature. You know what I'm saying? I like meditating and not mean trying to warm myself okay. um, and trying to get closer to God. That's something I enjoy. Okay. That's it. Pleasure to meet you. Name and age, and what do you like to do for fun? I'm Danny. I'm 38. <clears throat> I like to uh, play chess. Um, avid reader. Um, run. I know I don't look like it a little bit, but <laughs> I just getting into it, you know. I hear you. Um, and like to just chill with my old lady when I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank thank you. you. Okay, let's head on back. So I am now going to hand you a pick. Okay. Let me have you hold that. Oh, this is and always the hard part. Yes, the hard part. <laughs> I'm going to have you pop one balloon based off of what you heard, what you see, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop that one. Okay. Pop. Okay. Didn't so me to do that so adamantly. Why did we end up popping his balloon? Um... The eye connection for me. Um, I like to be intimate with someone that I chose, and I know you've been here for a while, but me too. <laughs> <laughs> that part. So that was really it for me. If I could um, have a little bit more intimacy, I probably wouldn't have. Indeed. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So but you're very handsome. You're cool. No, she's cool. And Johnny, why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she seemed cool. I mean, she's gorgeous. I mean, all that. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, and we did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, what's your nationality? I'm Cubanita and Italiana. Yeah, I like black women. Like you know, um, we are. There's black, nothing. But that's yes, okay. no problem. I mean, like, <laughs> she's no black. Woman. No, 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 not of course they're black. You know, I'm from New York, I was Spain. Um, what's your nationality? I'm Cubanita and Italiana. You. Cuban and Italian, is that what she said? Yeah. I like black women, like, you know. Um, we are there's black, nothing, but that's yeah. Black? We're black? They're black? Really? Yes, okay. no problem. I mean, like, <laughs> she's no black. Woman. No, 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 not. Of course they're all black. You know, I'm from New York. All Spanish, everything is black, but, you know. Like, oh, okay. I, I guess. I like, just. That's just, yeah. Okay. You're beautiful. I love your manners. I like how you greet everybody. But like you said, um, if I'm looking to get into sure. a relationship for marriage, I want it like a, you know, a black woman. For I you. understand. Thank you. No problem. Okay. All right. So now is law someone that's your type? Well, we're both from New York. I'm from Flatbush. So initially the energy, yes. But um, we do, we are very strong on a preference. So um, yeah, looking at them, yes. But um, I kind of feel the... The different chemistry. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So we do have two balloons left unpopped. I can go ahead and ask these guys another question. Do you gentlemen have any children? Okay. They both have kids. How many children? How many? Okay. Let's start over here. I have one. And how old? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's two years old. He's two. And how was your relationship with the baby mother? Um, we are amicable legally. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go down over here. Okay, how <laughs> many kids do you have? I got two kids. Um, one is 18 and the other one is five. Started over. And the relationship with the mother? Oh uh, yeah, my first child's mother, we was we known each other since middle school, so we don't went through all the BS. Sure. We cool. Second one, she's cool. I'm just cool. To be honest with you, I don't really do the drama thing. You right. I'll fix it. <laughs> That's how I am. Something to consider? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And guys, any questions for our lady? Right here? Okay. Sure. Um, so I have two questions. Okay. Sure. 
Uh, do you have kids? I do not. Okay. Uh, and you reside where? In Colorado. Okay. I live in Chicago. I love Chicago. Travel there quite often, actually. <laughs> Good? Yeah. All right. Any questions over here? So, in this day and age, um, women really had the upper hand. Well, it's like this lineup, you got a lot of men to choose from. So how do you show the person that you with that you're just as interested in him as he is in you and that he doesn't have to worry about other people? Um, for me, um, I have a very strong domesticated streak. So even though I run my own business, um, I help people with their finances, keep them on track, out of jail with the IRS. I like to come home and be domesticated and be with my partner. I like how we can have individual time because my job can be a little bit demanding, but I like to make sure that I'm always resetting and focused on home, having two separate lives. When I walk out the door and I'm a professional, I'm a professional. When I come home, I'm my man's woman, 100%. For sure. You good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. All right. <laughs> so let's head back over here. We did get a pop. Why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, I think she's a beautiful woman. Uh, great energy. I just don't see her being my person. Like I, I can't see that. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Now, is uh, Hubert someone that's your type? Um, not typically, but I am geared more towards towards personality, okay. not really looks. Got it. So I would um, definitely give him an opportunity to speak. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. And our last guy over here did end up popping. Why did we pop our balloon? Well, to be honest with you, it's the, the New York aggressive thing. Oh. I feel like I like um, my women a little, a little tad bit softer, okay. you know, uh, I'm a chill, laid back dude, and you know I liked her to be even more submissive than that. And like, you're very beautiful. I just, are you gonna submit to me without me having to, you know, buff up a little bit to, you know, what I'm saying to put sure. control you down. I just, I just want to chill. And sure. I know New Yorkers, they be like, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. As I <laughs> you know said, I don't saying? like to yell. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like to stay in my femininity at all times. I feel you. I feel you. But you're very beautiful, though, well, sweetheart. You. you know what I'm saying? Hair look nice. Outfit look good. You know what I'm saying? You. You feel your fingernails, match your toes and everything. So <laughs> you good. Well, thank you. Thank right. you for your time. Now, is Danny someone that's your type? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let's head on back. So that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Well, thank you. Let's go ahead and thank give it up gentlemen. for her, guys. Y'all lovely. I'll take this. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Melissa Gemma. Melissa, okay. And yes. how old are you? I'm 36. And what do you do? So I'm a property manager as well as TV and film hairstylist and makeup artist. Nice. Yes. Okay. Now, what are some things I like to do for fun? I like to eat. <laughs> okay. Do y'all know how to cook? Anybody? Oh. <laughs> so, yes, I'm a foodie. I mm -hmm. love to eat. I love all different types of food. Mm -hmm. Don't eat pork, um, but I'm open to trying, you know. Lots Pretty much things. anything. Okay. Um, I'm a creative, so anything of the arts, pretty much, you know, I'm passionate about. I love music. Nice. I love books. I love art. I love museums. Um, yeah. Okay. No. I just love to have fun. Like, as long as it's a good time, it's mm -hmm. a vibe, we're being safe. You're there I'm good. for it. Yes. All right. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, okay. Um, I desire a man, um, a man of God, mm. a man of God for sure. Okay. Um, he doesn't, I'm not going to say you have to be in church every Sunday because I'm, I'm on my journey as well. Mm -hmm. However, you have to be willing to, you know, want to cultivate that relationship with God. That's really important to me. Okay. Um, a progressive man, uh, a man who is purpose driven. Mm -hmm. That's really important to me as well. Because if you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you're here. Right. Then you will never live up to your fullest potential. Um, definitely marriage minded. 
a man who is intentional about what he wants, um, provision, and not just from a financial aspect, because I know we get up here and say, oh, I want to provide <laughs> Oh, he needs to be able to provide stability, right. but it encompasses so much more than just finances. Okay. Like, obviously a leader. I have a son. I have a six-year-old son. Um, great kid. Myself and his father, we co-parent very well. That's good. So he has to be a man that is willing to, you know, accept a woman with a child uh -huh. and also kind of know how to navigate that type of relationship. Because if you're going to be with me, we are a package deal. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, be confident. Okay. Um, have a plan. And just know how to, you know, I mean, you got two hands. I may be a little bit of a handful, but that's in a good way. <laughs> okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Give um, me like two. Deal breakers. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Deal breakers. Uh, I would say someone who lacks emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to be emotionally aware. Just mm -hmm. have some tact. Um, just kind of know how to communicate. That's really big, which I know is a cliche. Everybody talks about it because it's trending, but it's really the truth. Okay. Um, <sighs> mm, anger issues. That is a deal breaker for me. Got it. Uh, you can't control your anger. Okay. That's, um, that's good. You okay. got those two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we did get a pop balloon. Okay. Let's go on over there. I like okay. To your name anger. and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? Yeah, my name is Micah, and I'm 42. Hi, Micah. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. Okay. And, Micah, why did you end up popping your balloon? The reason why I popped, well, first off, I just wanted to hear what she had to say. Mm -hmm. And what really uh, caught my attention is when she was talking about a man of God or someone, <clears throat> a man that's trying to seek God. Yeah. So that, that gravitated, that, I gravitated to that. So, okay. uh, and then just the things she was saying, it, it was really, you know, it intrigued me, the okay. things she was saying. And, um, but yeah, so the reason I popped was because just, just the, she's, a, she's a bit too slender for my type, Okay. but she's, you are, you are very pretty. Thank you. Yeah. You're nice looking too. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. Thank you, Micah. All right, let's head on back. So we do have four guys remaining. Let's go ahead and ask them a question. Sue, who's more your type? So fellas, let's see. Uh, <laughs> how do you handle temptation in a relationship? Okay. Let's start with your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name is La, I'm 40. Okay. And um, how do I handle temptation? Yes. She throwing, I'm going. In a rela <laughs> now you're in a relationship. This, I'm not saying as a single man. So you're in a relationship, you made a commitment to a woman. And obviously being realistic, you know, there's going to be temptation. We're human. We're Absolutely. all attracted to people. So how do you handle temptation when you have made a commitment to someone and you got this baddie in your face and she's everything that you like and want and lust for? All right. Uh, let's hear from him. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, it's self-control. Like, okay. when you get to this age, you got to have self-control. If I'm in a relationship, I'm basically blind to everybody else. I'm Stevie Wonder. That's it. Okay, Stevie. Okay, thank you. Let's go over here with your name and age and how do you handle temptation? Uh, Hubert, 37. Um, I have different tactics. Pray on it. For sure, pray on it. Um, oh, pray on it. I'm a big blocker. Like, I will block you. Okay. Um, I, in my last relationship, I went and removed all of the women that I was following. That would be temptation. Okay. Um, also, I just don't put myself in situations where I got to deal with that because I am go. human. So, yep. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Smart man. There you go. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and how do you handle temptation? Johnny, I'm 38. I handle temptation. I pray a lot mm -hmm. and I talk. If I'm saying you got to communicate. Absolutely. That's it. Okay. The praying thing is just, so you telling me it's a... <laughs> Some model come up to him. He's going, ah, please. <laughs> like, bro, hello? Somebody got to go deep into detail what they mean by this. Okay. Last guy here. Name and age and how do you handle temptation? I'm Danny. I'm 38. To be honest with you, it was, um, I've adapted the philosophy of monogamy because there's a lot of 
financial and personal growth benefits that come from that. So I really don't mm-hmm. get tempted when I'm in a relationship because I've engulfed myself into the relationship. So other women just don't matter. Got you. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So based off of those responses you heard, whatever you see, all that good stuff, I am going to have you pop. So let me give you a pick. Okay. And let's go so. ahead and pop one balloon. All right. Oh, why would you let it go? <laughs> okay. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, honestly, his answer was really, really good. Just the, um, I'm the physical attraction. Okay. Yeah. Just not like a connection or, you know, yeah. Okay. And now Johnny, why did you have your balloon unpopped? You want a real answer? I'm your trying response. to take home to my mama. You hear me? She, she love your show. Okay. That's it. So she's not your type? No, nah, she's too skinny. <laughs> she gorgeous though. Thank You're you. Gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask the remaining three guys another question. Um, okay, so uh, in terms of the family dynamic, who comes I don't first? Know, I like them. I like them skinny. So I don't think I have a big problem with them being skinny. As long as they let me change them. Okay. Who comes first? I have um, I have kids, so my kids right. come first. Okay. We're married. We're married. Okay. What? Hold on. The mic ain't even on you yet, Hubert. Oh, sorry. Who comes first? If I'm married, my wife. So, let me rephrase that. Mm-hmm. In terms of the family dynamic, mm-hmm. as far as hierarchy is concerned, the order of the family, in order for you to I have sustainability. <laughs> <laughs> Who comes first in your relationship? This oh, is a marriage. God. There's a family. God. Okay. I mean, great answer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening. So then we got one more. All right, let's hear from you. Me. Okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> you know, uh, on the head, everything starts with the head, on the leader, and, you know, my household follows that. I follow God. My household follows me. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's head on back. It is time to pop a balloon. So out of these three remaining guys, whose balloon are you going to pop? <laughs> okay, let's stay over here. So why did we end up popping his balloon? Um, it just seemed that i mean great answer i I just think it was very um centered self-centered like me just me (laughs) when a family consists of more than just you you said the head the hierarchy right which is god okay we not talk about that's all that's that's universal that's that's uh that's understood you know what's understood ain't gotta be explained but you know what I'm saying? That's cool. When it, mm-hmm. it comes to like it's not even a discussion to be honest with you. Right. Like it's my household you're coming into. Like mm-hmm. it's my kingdom. You know, I ain't never seen a king put a queen over him. I wasn't looking for um I don't think there's an issue with your perspective. However, um That's God true. comes first, then the husband, then the wife then the children, so on and so forth. That's exactly what I said. That's what you said. But I, <laughs> no, I just said. No problem. Oh, okay. You're very beautiful. Thank you. know you. what I'm saying? That's why I had the balloon on pop. You know you. what I'm saying? Everything about you is A1. You went that wow. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Thank you. Let's head on back. Okay. We did get a pop back here. Why did we end up popping? Um, just didn't feel the aura. There's a connection and vibe. That's it. The energy. She's beautiful. Thank you. You have a um, prefigure. Thank you. You know, and educated too. So, but I just didn't feel the aura and the okay. connection. Got it. Okay. Now, is Law someone that's your type? Um, I would, I would go on, I would go out on a date. Okay. I would. Mm-hmm. He's nice looking. I like the colors. You Thank look you. good in the earth tones. 
Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we do have one more balloon left unpopped. So any final questions between the two of you? Um, let's see. Do you have any children? I have one. How He's two old? years old. <sighs> too young. Too young. Uh, any any babies you, you, under five? Okay. Yeah, it's a deal breaker for me. I just didn't get a chance to say it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, she cool. Um, right. Yeah, like uh, I think she's attractive. She had a nice little body on her. Thank um, you. Not too skinny. No, nah, I like slim women, so it's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. She didn't say anything that made me want to pop, but okay. you know, good. it happens. Now, I know the kids was a little too right. young, but is he someone that's your type? Like, would you go for him? It's so, he is, actually isn't my type, but just based off of his answers, I definitely would have, yeah. Okay, all right, well, thank yeah. you. You answered exactly how I would have. That's what I was looking <laughs> for, you got it right. Uh -huh. I would have lied. <laughs> Oh, no kids. Nah. You know, she wouldn't find out.